<laughs> Looking at this robot, you may think that it's too complex or too hard to build one yourself, but actually it's not. In fact, in the next few minutes, you're going to see just how easy it can be to build your own web-enabled autonomous telepresence robot, and you can control it from anywhere in the world. Let's take a look at some of the basic components. Now in my case, pretty much everything came from my vast collection of crap, and hopefully you'll have some of the same things at home, but if not, you'll be able to scrounge together similar items to complete your own Sparky robot. Here we have the VEX robot kit, which is actually a lot like an erector set, although it also comes with matching motors, gears, and wheels, and other things like that, so it all communicates together very efficiently. The brain and nervous system. Basically, it's the Mac Mini, a monitor, a webcam, the Mate controller board, and some custom software, which we'll get to in a minute. Power. 12 volt battery, and inverter to turn it into AC. The drivetrain. Old Sparky used a 24 volt motorized wheelchair, but now it's the VEX servo motors. They're a little underpowered for this job, but they just barely make it work. To control the motors, we're using this Make brand controller board. And this thing is so sweet. It has so many digital inputs and outputs that it could be controlling dozens of different functions. All we're using it for is to control two servo motors. The chances of you having all this same stuff is pretty slim, but that's kind of the point. That after you see what I can do with this, you'll be able to dig up your own stuff and build your own Sparky robot with the things you have. The real benefit of working with VEX is that it allows you to prototype your designs very quickly and inexpensively. But this way I can keep using the same basic chassis over and over again until I get the robot just how I want it. In the past, Sparky has used a number of different monitors. I finally settled in this old computer monitor and I really like this clip design to hold it in place. We've managed to use a lot less steel, but it's still structural because of the use of the bungee cord. If you're using the Make controller board, you should probably visit the makingthings.com website to make sure that you have all the firmware and need to operate it. If you're using Arduino or some other controller board, then follow the instructions that they provide. It's important to keep in mind that pretty much every one of these steps will be different for you because you'll be using different components, maybe a different computer, different hardware, but that's okay. Building something like this, it's really more about trial and error than anything else. Now that we have everything assembled, it's basically a computer on wheels. Once we install the special Skype software and plugin, then it'll be a true web-enabled robot. What's great about Skype is that it allows you to run your own applications in conjunction with Skype. So we've actually set it up so that when we're running our own special modified Skype client, we have all the controls necessary to drive the robot as well as have a video chat, all in one package. Hello, I'm John Slunza first year grad student at Stanford University and I have had the pleasure of writing the software that makes Sparky communicate these days. So, so what, are, what exactly are we doing here? How are we using Skype to drive Sparky? Well, the nice thing about Skype is that it has this plugin interface, kind of an open source way for folks to write plugins. So with the text messages in Skype, I can actually send a text message through my plugin So everything that they need will be available on the Gummy Style website. We will provide both the software and the source code to that software. A savvy coder can take the software we're giving them and add more functionality to it to, to do almost anything that they want. They can make their robot do anything. That's right. The software we provide allows a generic mechanism for translating any text message. And then another plugin on your side, on the Skype robot, receives that message, parses it, and it decodes it into a server control. Well, that's about all we have time for for this Sparky overview. But for detailed instructions, as well as software to download, visit us at gomistyle.com. You can also see a bunch of other projects that you can do at home there as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.